Okay, so today I received um, uh, a question by email from Nancy Teske at the American International School of Mozambique. I'm really grateful for the question because it's um, motivated me to make another tutorial video for the Equip My School procurement portal. I haven't made one in, uh, in a very long while, so I'm really grateful. The question was, um, or has been phrased like this, we have hundreds of tiny art items that we put in last year's order and we'd love not to have to do that again. How could we just import last year's order and make it this year's order and then maybe add a few more things to it? Um, which is a really good question. Um, if we look at the, the portal here for the AIS Mozambique, we've got last year's, uh, a, an order from two years ago, excuse me. We've got a project that was created for last year, which the, the school didn't go ahead with um, because of uh, COVID. Um, and then we've got a new project that's been created here, ready for the, the next batch of orders. Um, if we go in here, this is where we need to look to find out the find the destination for these orders that um, Nancy's talking about. Inside the secondary department is Nancy's arts department. And this is what we what we need to where we need to start uh, answering this problem here. Um, the first problem that anyone is going to have if they're going to try and uh, put together a, a, an order um, a list on the portal is we've got to have a destination for those items that we're going to put in the list. Um, and here in the art department there are no orders, so there is no destination. So what we need to do first is start by creating an order in here. Um, and typically it would be the person leading the department that would be um, uh, that would be the lead, the manager. We'll put it, give it a name, we can change that later, and uh, I'm just going to give the full budget. Again, that can be changed later. I'm going to give the full budget of the department to this order, um, and I'm going to create that order there. <coughs> and that refreshes and comes back, and now inside the art department we have an art order that has some budget, and if we take a look at it, it's empty. That makes lots of sense. If I now go back to the projects and dive into um, last year's project and drill into the secondary department. Now here we see an art order, secondary school art order um, in the secondary school department that's got some items in it. I can go into it and see what's in that department here. Uh, and I think that the general gist of what Nancy's asked me to do is how do I transfer all of these things into the new order? So if we click this tick at the top of this tick column it selects every single item in the order for us um, and this action drop down appears over here. I can copy it to and that means copying the, the products from this order somewhere else and the art items order that I created just a moment ago is in this list now. Now had I, had I come to here and there'd been an empty list it would mean I had failed or hadn't got around to making that destination order but because I took that step first, this order is in this list. I can hit copy, give it a few moments to, uh, to do its thing. We get a successful message down the bottom. If I now go back to projects, um, I should be able to drill into my department and have a look at the order and take a look inside and there are the products. Entire copy of what's there. We take a look at uh, the grid view, we can see the bits and pieces that um, we put together for last year's order. So if your order, uh, if your new upcoming order is um, loosely based or strongly based on a previous order that you've put together or a wish list that you put together prior to being given any budget, it's really, really easy to go in and copy uh, what the work you've done before into the new project. Um, I hope that helps Nancy and if anybody else is watching this, I hope it helps you too. Thank you.